Hey y'all, it's Day, and today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about transitioning to natural hair. So this video is mostly gonna be tips and personal lessons that I learned along the way. So I will have in the description box some links that will help you guys with more general information to answer questions that I don't answer in this video. So make sure you guys check that out at the end of the video. Okay, so I started transitioning in 2011, but up until like 2014, 15, I was still damaging my hair with bleach and heat damage. So in 2015, I met a good natural hairstylist and a good friend of mine now, and she basically helped me with natural hair care and helped me find protective styles I was comfortable with while I was transitioning out, which was at that point just heat damage and bleach damage. So letting go of the relaxer is a given to transitioning. So I'm gonna start off with my first tip being to let go of the flat iron and blowouts and find safe ways to use heat. So I still use indirect heat sources such as hooded dryers and steamers. I also do the tension method whenever I wanna stretch my hair with a handheld blow dryer and those methods do not damage my hair at all. So so if you follow me on Snap, I often share step-by-step -step how I do my hair. And you would have noticed by now that every time I style on wet hair, I have to sit under a hooded dryer at night so that my hair can be dry in the morning. And a lot of times it still ain't dry. So I sit under the dryer often and it does not negatively affect my hair. I'll just sit there on Snapchat, snapping away or playing my latest addiction, Best Fiends, which is also the company that is sponsoring this video today. I'm currently on level 39 of this game. It's a free puzzle game and and what you do is build your team of bugs to fight these evil slugs up here. And the way that you do that is by connecting the same colored plants just like that to beat off the slugs and to get points to help level up your team. This month they will be introducing a new thing called Pop and they also have a mini game coming out called Granny Slug that I can't wait to check out. So if you wanna play, just head on down to my description box and I will have a link there for the free download. It'll, it'll also gift you $5 worth of diamonds and gold to help you level up your bug squad to fight off those slugs. Then once it's downloaded, you just connect via Facebook so you can compete with your friends. Okay, so back to these tips. Like I was saying, I use the indirect heat sources all the time. I love to steam treat my hair. It does amazing things for me as far as moisture. And I sit under the hooded dryer every time I style on wet hair. And they're completely safe. It's not like using a flat iron where your temperatures are at three or 400 degrees. Otherwise, if you're sitting under a dryer or using a steamer with three or 400 degree temperatures, you would be melting your face off. So they're not that hot to damage your hair. And as I mentioned earlier, I also use the handheld blow dryer doing the tension method, which I will have linked above here if you guys wanna check it out. And that's a safe way to use the handheld blow dryer without damaging your hair. So my next tip for transitioning is to not over manipulate your hair. If you like to do protective styles, protective style often when you're in that transition stage. Also, just make sure your protein treating in between, your deep conditioning in between, and you're keeping your hair moisturized while you have that protective style in. So one thing you could do is take a spray bottle and mix it with your favorite oil or leave-in conditioner and just lightly mist it over your hair every few days. And you can also take scalp oils and put it on your scalp to make sure that your scalp is not getting irritated and dried out from the protective style. Um, if you're not a fan of protective style, that's perfectly fine. Just find yourself a go-to hairstyle that will last you at least a week because you don't want to over manipulate your hair, making the transition hair break off and you're losing length. And you also don't want that damage to travel up to where your healthy hair is. So what I would do is I would protective style for three to five weeks at a time. Then I would take a two week break and then I would wear my hair out. And I did that for probably about eight months and my hair just grew so much of that damage out in a really quick pace. And then in the times where I did have it out, I would do perm rock sets or roller wraps all the time because that was what my go-to style was and I knew I could make that last up to a week. So number three is to make sure you're deep conditioning, protein treating, and moisturizing as needed for your hair. Not for my hair, not for your friend's hair, not for your other favorite blogger's hair, for your hair. The reason why I say this is because I protein treat at least two times a month and I can deep condition once a month or four times a month based on what's going on with my hair. And I moisturize my hair, I would say on average, just once a week. I do it at the time of styling and my hair usually stays moisturized until it's time for me to restyle. The reason why I say figure out a regimen based off what you need and not what I need is because say for example, I only deep condition one time this month but you have extremely dry hair. My regimen is not gonna help you at all with your dryness. So I know you guys are like, well, how do I know when to do those things? And honestly, the best way to figure out is trial and error and to know the signs of when to do those things. And 
it will be an entirely different video if I just listed all the signs of when to deep condition, when to moisturize, and when to protein treat. So I am gonna have in the description box some links to help you guys recognize signs. There's so much information now on natural hair. All you have to do is Google it and you'll get your answer. My favorite sources are our curlynikki.com and naturallycurly.com. I also like black hair information and I believe it's called blackgirllonghair.com. Those four websites have so much information and they're really legit. I haven't seen anything that steered me in the wrong direction and they provide general advice for different textures. So number three, personalize a regimen that consists of protein treating. So this next tip is more of like just a step that I took to help eliminate some of the frustration that I was having when I was transitioning because transitioning is extremely frustrating. I just committed to two brands while I was getting my hair together and, and those two brands were As I Am products and Fortified Natural products. And the reason why I just decided to commit because I'm like there's no way that I'm trying all these different products and nothing is working on my hair. And I remember reading about layering products and sometimes is not the products that are failing, it's the way that we're applying them and how we're applying them to our hair. So if you're super frustrated with finding products, pick a line or two that you have gotten some kind of good something out of it and just keep playing around with that line to see what works best for you because even if that line is not the best for your texture, you can still learn from it. Cause you could learn, well, it responded a little bit better when I put the oil on before I put the cream on or it responded a little bit better when I did it on dry hair versus wet hair. So you can kind of learn what your hair like. Therefore, you can make better decisions when you're selecting products in the future. Now, I know people are gonna say, well, what's the best for transitioning hair? To be quite honest, there is no miracle product that works for all transitional hair because people are transitioning from different things. You have people who are transitioning and they're going through having super, super dry hair. And you have some people who are transitioning where their hair is not really dry, but it's just fragile and breaking off. So you kind of just got to play around. And the only thing I recommend as far as searching for products when you're transitioning is to make sure you're keeping something in your regimen that has your hair moisturized and look for words on the bottom such as strengthening and repair because you are going through a really weird state. To be real, you're going to break your hair off as you're transitioning because you're dealing with two totally different texture your priority needs to be that new growth that's coming in not keeping that hair that you're trying to grow out anyway so moving on to number five which is probably the most important part of transitioning to get your mind right the goal of transitioning is to transition out that damaged hair it's not to miraculously cure it it's not to keep it it's to get it out of your head so you should be cutting your hair as the new growth is growing out that relaxed hair is gone we are trying to grow that out do not try to hold on to that relaxed hair and with that being said don't expect products to take your relaxed hair and make it naturally curly again and the reason why i said this is the hardest part is because we all see stories where somebody did have damaged curls and they they may have used protein treatments and it kind of popped them back to life but that person's hair was not permanently damaged and it's also hard because companies sell us this dream that if you use our products your curls will go from limpy nothing to curly everything and that's not the case once your hair is permanently damaged, there is nothing you can do to get it back. All you can do is grow it out and let the new hair come in and don't make the same mistakes with your new curly hair. So with that being said, you need to be cutting your hair regularly. Every time you notice some new growth, you need to be cutting off those ends. So when you get a half an inch of new growth, cut off a half an inch of that damaged hair. So I would say depending on how fast your hair grows, which is also genetic, that could be every four to eight weeks. So this means that you should be measuring your hair growth from your roots to where your damage starts, not from your roots to where your damage ends. So if you started off with shoulder length hair, you should be about shoulder length when you're done transitioning out your damage because you're supposed to be cutting off that damage as that new growth grows in. So just to recap those transitioning tips concisely, tip number one is to let go of what's damaging your hair, the bleach, the heat, the relaxer, let it go. Tip number two is to not over manipulate. Tip number three is to develop a deep conditioning, a protein treatment and moisturizing regimen for your texture, not anybody else's, yours. Suggestion, optional tip number four is to commit to a staple brand or two so that you can learn what kind of products your hair likes and how it likes to be layered. Then tip number five is to realize that your goal is to get rid of that damage, so cut your hair periodically. And then tip number six, which I didn't mention, is to have 
patience. Transitioning is extremely frustrating. It's so frustrating. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. Like I said, I started in 2011 and it took four or five years for it to finally click in my mind to make better decisions when it comes to my hair. All right, so I'm done talking you guys heads off. I know some of you probably have more questions about deep conditioning, protein treating, and moisturizing, and I do have really good videos on those. So if you go down to my description box and look under the Best Fiends link, there will be a link to a playlist that has a compilation of videos that are all about hair care for my channel. I'll also have links in the description box that'll help you as far as indirect heat, protective styling, and whatever else I could have possibly covered in this video. I will find some links and put them in the description box so you guys can take the time to go through and read those and that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i will see y'all in the comment section bye